Super Rugby, Asafo Ormi left out of Hurricanes for poor conditioning. Asafo Ormi appears to be still grasping the realities of professional rugby. The dynamic hooker took no part in the Hurricanes' final pre-season victory over the Blues in Walkworth on Thursday and was a curious absence from Chris Boyd's 28-man squad to tour South Africa and Argentina. Last year was a whirlwind ride as the 20-year-old went from starring with the New Zealand under-20 Esther Wellington and on to the All Blacks Northern Tour where he featured in marches against the Barbarians and French 15. Playing for the All Blacks before a Super Rugby franchise is a rare feat, and speaks to Omua's long-term potential. His destructive ball carrying. Pace in the wide channels and ferocious defence captured widespread attention, but this season has not started well. While keen to manage expectations around such a young talent, it is understood Ormuel's omission from the Hurricanes opening two matches against the Bulls and Jaguars is because he did not return in the condition expected for Super Rugby. Hurricanes assistant coach Jason Holland confirmed as much as the Hurricanes departed for South Africa on Friday. These little things he would have tweaked in the way he spent the first few weeks around Christmas but nothing around lack of effort, Holland told Radio Sports Brenton Vanessel Roy. It's around the way he trains. We're just looking to him to get some running metres under the belt over the next few weeks in Wellington and he'll be absolutely flying to go then. We just want to make sure we give him every opportunity to be at his best for the whole season. We don't want to throw him into something when he's not 100% ready to pay 40. He's one we've been careful with. Maybe it was best for him to go home for two weeks and continue his conditioning. He's got an eagerly rib injury which probably wasn't too bad but just to make sure we don't throw him in and break him for another couple of weeks. With Dane Coles on a long comeback trail from his ACL rupture and not expected to return until at least June, turning up out of shape represents a missed opportunity for Ormuir. The Hurricanes have preferred established Taranaki hooker Ricky Risitelli and Wellington's James Sawley for the two-leg trip. At best, Ormuir now has to wait until the Hurricanes' third match at home against the Crusaders to make his debut at this level. Watching his teammates start the season is sure to serve a reminder about expectations. Holland also confirmed Bude and Barrett will come off the bench in Pretoria after joining the squad late due to his presence two weddings this weekend, one of which involves his brother Gain. We'll see how Buden travels over. To be honest he'll be surprised if he's not involved in the 23. Barrett's commitments open the door for either former Blues playmaker I.A. West or Wellington's Jackson Garden back up to start at no 10. The A were both going really well. We've played them 40 minutes each in both of our preseason games so we'll have to have a look at the footage. The Hurricane squad for South Africa and Argentina. Forwards, Toby Smith, Chris Eves, Ben May, Fraser Armstrong, Alex Fido, Ricky Ricitelli, James Aurelli, Sam Lousy, Murray Douglas, Michael Fasialofa, Vae Fifita, Brad Shields, C. Adi Savia, Gareth Evans, Blade Thompson. Backs, TJ Peronara, Jamie Booth, Budin Barrett, IA West, Ngani Lormape, Matt Proctor, Vince Asso, Skusen, Julian Savia, Ben Lamb, Jackson Garden Backup, Jonah Lowe, 